When you want to have espresso on the go, the first name in portable espresso is Panpresso. Yes, you can have it anywhere. Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com. Today, a look at the Hanpresso Wild Hybrid Outdoor Set. The set contains everything you need to brew from ground coffee or ESE pods. It all comes in these handsome and durable zippered cases. Inside, you'll find the Hanpresso, an insulated flask for brew water. I did some tests on the flask, results on those in a minute four unbreakable espresso cups, a Hanpresso napkin for cleanup, and plenty of room for storing ESE pods or coffee. So the Hanpresso comes with portafilter adapters for brewing from ground coffee or ESE pods. Brewing is simple, just pump it up until the pressure indicator is in the green zone. In my test, it took about 15 seconds to do about 35 pumps to get the needle into the green zone. After that, fill with hot water to cover the three water level indicators, and then you're ready to brew from either ground coffee using the Domapod or an ESE pod over the adapter. Attach the portafilter, turn the hand presso over your cup, and press the start button to begin the extraction. When your cup is filled as wished, press the button back up to release any excess pressure, and that's it. So, how is the espresso? Well, for ground coffee, I used Whole Latte Love's own Malabar Gold. It's a coffee I know very well, and I have to say, the Hanpresso produced a decent shot. Not quite as nice as the doubles I pull from prosumer level machines using the Malabar Gold, but the basic characteristics of the coffee presented well. For ESE pods, I used a 100% Arabica medium roast from Illy. Now, honestly, I don't often use ESE pods, and as expected, shots from pods are not at the same level as those from fresh ground whole beans. But if you're willing to give a little on the quality, brewing from pods is incredibly convenient. And the results from the hand presso are on par with those from lower cost entry level machines brewing from ESE pods in a pressurized filter basket. As mentioned, I did some testing with the insulated flask to see how long it would keep water hot enough for brewing. So I preheated some flasks and then filled with water just off a boil. As it turned out, the flask kept the water above 194 degrees for about an hour. Now, that's the lower end of the espresso brewing range. At two hours, the temperature was about 183 degrees in the flask. So for best results, I'd suggest brewing within an hour of filling the insulated flask. Now, if you use ground coffee, a couple things you'll want to know. First, and I'm not sure if this is by design or a happy accident, but the pump end of the hand presso is a good size for tamping ground coffee in the Domapod. And second, you may want to consider the Domapod case accessory. It comes with and holds three filled Domapods ready to brew when you are. That's the Handpresso Wild Hybrid Outdoor Set. It's available in the three colors, black, silver, and white. And you can get it now at wholelattelove.com. It's perfect for the espresso lover who can't be without their favorite beverage. Have any questions? Use those comments below and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the good stuff on everything coffee, brought to you, of course, by wholelattelove.com. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com.